السلام عليكم في درس اليوم سوف نتحدث عن تدريس اللغة اللاتينية Latin was the language of the ancient Roman Empire It was the main language of Western Europe for hundreds of years Seventy years ago many American students studied Latin in school then over the years the subject lost popularity however now it has become very popular again Latin was the language of the ancient Roman Empire Latinia كانت لغة الإمبراطورية الرومانية القديمة ancient ancient قديم Latin اللغة اللاتينية it was the main language كانت اللغة الرئيسية the main رئيسي of western Europe لأوروبا الغربية for hundreds of years لمئات السنوات 70 years ago منذ 70 سنة 70 years ago many American students العديد من التلاميذ الأمريكيين many American students studied Latin in school درسوا اللاتينية في المدرسة studied Latin in school then in the Dalek over the years بعد ذلك وعلى مر السنين over the years the subject lost popularity فقد الموضوع شعبيته subject الموضوع يعني اللاتينية lost lost فقدت popularity الشعبية يعني الاهتمام الناس لم يعودوا يهتمون بها however مع ذلك على الرغم من ذلك however now it has become very popular again أصبحت الآن شائعة مرة أخرى أصبحت شعبية مرة أخرى again again مرة أخرى public and private schools are trying to find more people who can teach Latin. It is unclear exactly how many young people in the United States are trying Latin. المدارس الخاصة والعامة Public and Private Schools تحاول العثور على المزيد من الناس الذين يستطيعون تعليم اللاتينية are trying تحاول are trying to find more people who can teach Latin it is unclear exactly how many young people هو ليس من الواضح it is unclear unclear ليس من الواضح exactly تماما كم هو عدد الأشخاص أو الشباب young people في الولايات المتحدة in the United States are trying are studying Latin يعني ليس من الواضح كم عدد الشباب الذين يتعلمون اللاتينية أو يدرسون اللاتينية however officials say about 135,000 students are taking a test called the National Latin Exam this year مع ذلك فيقول المسؤولون officials بأن مئة وخمسة وثلاثين ألفا من التلاميذ 135,000 students يجرون أو يجرون اختبارا يسمى اختبار اللاتينية الوطني are taking a test called the national Latin exam هذه السنة this year In 1978, only 6,000 students took the test. 
وفي سنة ألف وتسعمائة وثمانية وسبعين فقط ستة آلاف من التلاميذ أجروا الاختبار took the test يعني هناك ازدياد The National Junior Classical League is an organization for students interested in Latin and the Greek. It has grown 100% in the last 25 years. It has more than 50,000 members in the United States, Canada and Australia. هنا League League تعني رابطة تترجم برابطة يعني منظمة أو مؤسسة مؤسسة الكلاسيكية للناشئين الوطنية أو المؤسسة الوطنية الكلاسيكية للناشئين جونيور يعني ناشئون شباب ليسوا الكبار سينيورز for young people is an organization for students interested in Latin and Greek هي منظمة للطل المهتمين باللاتينية واليونانية interested in مهتم باللاتينية واليونانية Latin and Greek it has grown ازدادت أو نمت it has grown 100% مئة بالمئة in the last 25 years في آخر 25 سنة في, الخم... في 25 سنة الأخيرة In the last 25 years, it has more than 50,000 members. وفيها أكثر من 55 عفوا وفيها أكثر من 50 ألف عضو. 50,000 members. Members يعني أعضاء. In the United States, Canada and Australia. Latin has not been spoken as a language. since the early 1500s 1500s تعني العقد الأول من القرن الخامس عشر بدون S 1500 تعني 1500 يعني 15 مئة 1500 1500 لكن عندما نضيف اس في النهاية فتعني العقد يعني العشر سنوات الأولى هنا 1500s early بداية في بداية هذا العقد إذا فاللغة اللاتينية لم يتم التحدث بها has not been spoken as a language كلغة منذ العقد منذ بداية العقد الأول من القرن الخامس عشر since the early 1500s since the early 1500s however مع ذلك educators say there are good reasons for students to study it today يقول المعلمون ال Educators المعلمون يقولون بأن هناك أسبابا جيدة أو مهمة لكي يدرسها التلاميذ اليوم أو حاليا today يعني اليوم ويقصد بها حاليا there are good reasons هناك أسباب جيدة good reasons for students to study it today for example على سبيل المثال for example knowing Latin can help people understand their language better معرفة اللغة اللاتينية يساعد الناس على فهم لغتهم بشكل أفضل knowing Latin can help people understand their own language better many Modern and scientific terms came from Latin. العديد من العبارات أو عفواً المصطلحات terms المصطلحات العلمية والحديثة جاءت من اللاتينية. Modern, modern حديث. Scientific 
terms مصطلحات علمية came from Latin جاءت من اللاتينية most words in Italian Spanish Portuguese and French had their beginnings in Latin معظم الكلمات في اللاتينية والإسبانية والبرتغالية والفرنسية كانت بدايتها في اللغة اللاتينية had their beginnings in Latin People who know Latin can read ancient books like the Aeneid often the Aeneid Aeneid by the Roman poet Virgil الناس الذين يعرفون اللاتينية who know Latin يستطيعون قراءة الكتب القديمة can read ancient books مثل الإنيادة like the Aeneid التي كتبها الشاعر الروماني فيرجيل Roman poet Virgil يقول بعض الخبراء some experts say young people who have studied Latin do better in college بأن الشباب الذين درسوا اللاتينية يبلون بلاء حسنا في الكلية أو في الجامعة college الجامعة do better in college Young people who have studied Latin do better in college. Methods of teaching Latin in American schools have changed. مناهج تدريس اللاتينية في المدارس الأمريكية تغيرت. Methods of teaching Latin in American schools have changed. Older Americans who learned Latin as children spend a lot of time repeating different forms of words. الأمريكيون الأكبر عمرا older الذين تعلموا اللاتينية who learned Latin عندما كانوا أطفالا as children قضوا الكثير من الوقت في تكرار أشكال مختلفة للكلمات أو صيغ مختلفة للكلمات spent a lot of time repeating different forms of the words they read books in latin about ancient battles and wars قرأوا كتبا في باللغة اللاتينية عن معارك قديمة وحروب عن حروب ومعارك قديمة battles battles معارك wars حروب سأعيد قراءة الجملة They read books in Latin about ancient battles and wars Today, however, many Latin school books tell about the lives of young people in ancient Rome Students learn about Roman culture while they study the language اليوم, today, مع, however بينما هنا يمكن ترجمة هذه الكلمة في هذا السياق في هذا السياق بينما يعني استخدمناها لتقديم فكرة مختلفة. Today, however, many Latin school books tell about the lives of young people in ancient Rome. العديد من الكتب المدرسية اللاتينية Latin school books تتحدث عن حياة الشباب. Tell about the lives of young people في روما القديمة in ancient Rome. Students learn about Roman culture. يتعلم التلاميذ عن الثقافة الرومانية while they study the language. بينما يتعلم يدرسون اللغة. يقرؤون عفوا يتعلمون learn عن الثقافة الرومانية وهم يدرسون اللغة في نفس الوقت Students learn about the Roman culture while they study the language Some schools offer special activities for their students بعض المدارس تقدم أنشطة خاصة لطلابها 
special activities anshita khassa for example ala sabili mithal the public schools of chicago illinois hold a yearly event called latin olympics ala sabili mithal madaris al amma fi chicago illinois ta'qidu hadathan sanawiyan hold a yearly event yusamma bi olimpiadi latinia called latin olympics it takes place at the university of illinois wa yahduth fi jami'at illinois it takes place tani yahduth aw yaqa yahduth yajri fi students take part in three competitions depending on their age at talamid يشاركون في ثلاث مسابقات take part take part يشارك في competitions competitions مسابقات depending on their age حسب سنهم depending on their age competitions include written tests in reading latin roman life and history other competitions offer rewards for the best roman art and clothing الاختبارات تشمل على يعني المسابقات competitions include تشمل الاختبارات مكتوبة في قراءة اللاتينية هذه جملة أعتقد أن هناك خطأ المقصود هو أن الاختبارات اختبارات مكتوبة written tests واختبارات في قراءة اللاتينية written latin roman life الحياة الرومانية حياة الرومان and history والتاريخ other competitions اختبارات أخرى offer rewards تقدم جوائز offer rewards for the best Roman art and clothing لأفضل فن روماني أو ملابس رومانية أفضل ملابس وفن رومانيين for the best Roman art and clothing This is Bill White with a VOA Special English Education Report. Latin was the language of the ancient Roman Empire. It was the main language of Western Europe for hundreds of years. Seventy years ago, many American students studied Latin in school. Then, over the years, the subject lost popularity. However, now it has become very popular again. Public and private schools are trying to find more people who can teach Latin. It is unclear exactly how many young people in the United States are studying Latin. However, officials say about 135,000 students are taking a test called the National Latin Exam this year. In 1978, only 6,000 students took that test. The National Junior Classical League is an organization for students interested in Latin and Greek. It has grown 100% in the last 25 years. It has more than 50,000 members in the United States, Canada, and Australia. Latin has not been spoken as a language since the early 1500s. However, educators say there are good reasons for students to study it today. For example, Knowing Latin can help people understand their own language better. Many modern and scientific terms came from Latin. Most words in Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, and French had their beginnings in Latin. People who know Latin can read ancient books 
like the Aeneid by the Roman poet Virgil. Some experts say young people who have studied Latin do better in college. Methods of teaching Latin in American schools have changed. Older Americans who learned Latin as children spent a lot of time repeating different forms of the words. They read books in Latin about ancient battles and wars. Today, however, many Latin school books tell about the lives of young people in ancient Rome. Students learn about Roman culture while they study the language. Some schools offer special activities for their students. For example, the public schools of Chicago, Illinois, hold a yearly event called Latin Olympics. It takes place at the University of Illinois. Students take part in three competitions, depending on their age. Competitions include written tests in reading Latin, Roman life, and history. Other competitions offer awards for the best Roman art and clothing. This VOA, Special English Education Report, was written by Geraldine Watson.